Well, I'm really pleased that Ryan Reynolds responded, and of course his humor is unparalleled. I had no idea that he used to be Hugh Jackman, for example. But uh, underlying that humor was a very serious message, and um, we want to reach out to those who are not hearing the message, either from uh, our daily uh, briefings or from news coverage. And, and speaking to that group of people saying, think about your mom, think about Ryan's mom, think about David Suzuki and all of the elders in our community. We need to protect them and we need to protect each other. Oh, uh, hey, uh, Premier Horgan, Ryan Reynolds here. Uh, I got your message about the thing. Uh, I'm not sure it's a great idea, frankly. Uh, people don't, I don't think they want medical advice from guys like me. No, sir. Um, unless it's plastic surgery, which a lot of people don't know this, but I used to be Hugh Jackman. Uh, you know, in young folks in BC, yeah, they're, they're partying, um, which is, of course, dangerous. Uh, and they probably don't know that, that thousands of young people aren't just getting sick from coronavirus, that they're, they're also dying from it, too. Uh, and, of course, it's the, terrible that it affects our most vulnerable you know, BC is, that's home to some of the coolest older people on earth. I mean, David Suzuki, did, he lives there. My mom, I mean, she doesn't want to be cooped up in her apartment all day. She wants to be out there cruising Kitsilano Beach looking for some young 30-something Abercrombie burnout to go full Mrs. Robinson on. She is insatiable. But here's the thing. Um, I hope that young people in BC don't kill my mom, frankly, uh, or David Suzuki, or each other. I, I, let's not I, let's not kill anyone. I think that's reasonable. Uh, and you know, but I, I just I I don't think that I'm the guy to deliver this message. I love parties. I mean, the the, the, the my favorite thing to do is just you know, sit alone in my room with a glass of gin and the first thirty two seasons of Gossip Girl. Well, that's a party. Threw my shoulder out the last time I did that. Hmm. Uh, having someone like Ryan Reynolds step into this debate reminds us one more time that we're all in this together. Well, I think Seth and Ryan are a little bit older, I guess, in the demographic you're looking for. Like, is there a thought to reach out to some TikTok stars yes. and Instagram people that you and I probably have never heard of, but that the young people care about? Like, a Absolutely. Uh, Minister Dix has been working on that uh, for some time now. We talked about it yesterday and the day before that. Uh, another different demographic, Michael Buble and I are going to be talking later on today. A lot of British Columbians uh, of all age groups want to get involved in this debate because it's about our future as individuals, as families, and as communities. And we do need to get to the TikTok group, the YouTubers, but we also want to take advantage of people like, like Seth Rogen and Michael J. Fox, Michael Buble, Ryan Reynolds. These are British Columbians that people recognize and respect. Although, uh, as Ryan Reynolds says, maybe he shouldn't be getting uh, medical advice from Deadpool. But the principle, the underlying message, we're in this together. Think about your family. Think about your community. Act responsibly.